One of the problems with the Tronx X1 printer is its bed stability. You can see the, the bed wobbles horribly on its axis. And the reason is that the distance between the rollers which transport this bed on the X axis um, is poorly controlled. The rollers are mounted on nuts and bolts um, and they're held away from the bed by tubular plastic spacers and it's not a very stable arrangement. Over time the nuts and bolts work loose and so the rollers move further apart and so the bed's unstable. However there's a really effective solution to be found on Singiverse and it's PB2000's bed tightener. It's just a triangular structure which holds three bushes in perfect registration with each other um, and they're the perfect distance apart and those bushes house the bolts and replace the plastic spacer arrangement. The bushes are a really tight fit on the bolts so actually you don't even need the nuts anymore but you'll put them on and they won't come loose so it's a permanent solution. The part's very undemanding to print. I did three top, three bottom layers and 50% infill. My bed isn't actually very wobbly at the moment because I recently tightened it up but the first step is to take that off. This reveals the three nuts and bolts on which the rollers are currently mounted. Just snip the cable tie to remove the, uh, the belt. Before you can remove the bed carriage you need to take off the, the end pulley for the x-axis. Now the bed will slide off of the end of the x-axis. Now remove the nuts and bolts to release the rollers. And then fit the nuts, bolts and rollers to the, the new frame. Here's the finished frame. This is the concept and if you try it on the x-axis carriage you can see that it's a really nice fit. Solid, no play, not much friction. Then uh, attach the frame to the base plate using the nuts. Put it back on the gantry, reattach the belt and the end pulley. and there she blows. It feels infinitely better. It's a massive improvement and a really easy one to make. Put the sprung bed back on. And it's finished. I haven't actually printed anything since I uh, made this improvement and I don't expect that it will make dramatic improvements in print quality because the printer is so good already. What it will do is take away the um, periodic dismantling and retightening of things um, which is part of owning a trunk unless you make this upgrade. So I'm feeling very good about it um, and thanks to PB2000 for designing the, uh, the thing in the first place. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.